<clears throat> praise God, praise this day, praise the days that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in them. Good afternoon or good morning. God bless you guys. Have a great day, a great week. In the name of Jesus, Father, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you, we love you. There is nothing and no one that would ever compare to the goodness. Thank you that comes from on high and the kingdom that lives within us. Thank you for taking us, God, in this time and holding us close. And thank you for everyone listening. Thank you for blessing their households. Thank you for blessing everything that they're putting their hands to do. In Jesus' name, this word is for those that might be struggling with performance. And just by experience, I've seen how sometimes um, performance is wrapped up in our identity. So if we perform well, we're doing well. If we don't, then we're not. If we do good things, if we perform as we're supposed to, then we're righteous. And if we don't, then we're not. And uh, that identity there sometimes can be misconstrued. So just know that God loves your vulnerability to his plan versus your plan. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll read off of Psalm 131 and hope that this is a blessing to you. It's a short psalm. Uh, Lord, thank you, God, for your word. Lord, my heart is not haughty, meaning pride. I'm not prideful, nor do I concern myself, oh wait, nor my eyes lofty, meaning they're not so high that I can't see you, nor do I concern myself with matters too great, things that you can't control, things you are reaching for and it's not at your grip, but the thing is, God's got your control. He's controlling everything, and he's amazing. His love, his goodness, everything about him, all the aspects of him will come together for your good. If you continue to abide, if you continue, and <clears throat> he's been so faithful. I don't know how else to explain that, but that the Father is taking care of you. And don't concern yourself with matters too great for you to understand, nor th with things too profound for me. He will reveal secrets to you, and he will give you understanding. But then there's a point where you're like, okay, well, what's beyond this? And you will need to just follow. Let him follow. You follow him. Let him lead. Don't be concerned. <clears throat> Verse 2, surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. So you notice a child relies on their mother's teat. They, we children, are very reliant like babies is how we're supposed to be for the care of our father. This doesn't mean we wait. For him to do everything but it does mean that we wait for him to do what we can't concern ourselves with because the matter is too great what we uh you know shouldn't um uh, try to cause our own eyes and our own ability to reach a to reach a, a destination <clears throat> sometimes those destinations are there but the access point only God's going to open we need to submit uh, to the Lord as him being Lord over our lives because he loves you because he loves you and his end game is better than your end game then the last verse three oh Israel hope in the Lord from this time forth and forever just hope in him trust in him love on him and even if you don't he will love on you he will chase you until you can't resist him anymore that's how good he is so i bless the spirit of god in your life if you've received psalm 131 <clears throat> 